Hi, Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, here at DevOps Enterprise Summit London 2016. And I'm here with Scott Potter, formerly of News UK, one of the News Corps, I guess the UK News yes. Corp yeah. entity. Scott, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. And Scott, you're going to be presenting in just a few minutes. You're about to go live on stage, so we won't take too much of your time. But can you give our audience a quick preview of what you're going to be talking about? Yes, it's, it's called to Autonomy and Beyond. And that probably doesn't really describe a great deal, but it's, it was about the transformation that I did at News UK for its software engineering department for the digital products. And really at its heart is about uh, trying to get the teams to, or give the, the right environments, the teams and the individuals can have ownership behavior, they can take responsibility, they have the right level of authority and autonomy. Um, and... I've decided for this not to talk about the tech, the tools behind it, very much about the people aspect. And as much about, actually, I was tasked with bringing about this change. And when you're in that role, you can feel quite isolated, actually. So sure. what was going on in my head? How did I try to move things forwards? So, you know, this seems to be a little bit of a theme that we're seeing here at the event. And that is that it isn't about just tools. It is obviously about culture, as we've always said. But this whole concept of a hierarchy, of middle management, of, of bosses, right? The last interview we did was the kind of pick your own boss or something mm. like that. And now you're talking about autonomy, which is, to me, this all boils down to one thing, empowering people to get the job done. Yeah. And if they're not empowered, whether that be with the right tools, with the right responsibility, with the right motivations, it just doesn't work, does it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think, I think it's, there's two key things. It's, it's that empowerment, but then they need to have the tools, the armory to, to work together. Right. So one of the other key things is we want empowered teams. We want self-organized teams. Okay, let's take a manager away and see what happens. Right. Oh, look, they instantly gel. Mm, not always. So part of my, my, my role was to help to, to, to train and furnish all of the people with the right types of interpersonal skills so that they can challenge one another. So if you look at high-performing teams, in fact, there's something, if you've got time, there's something which I probably won't have a chance to mention here, but there was some research done in, in the States, actually, and they looked at all these different matching algorithms from Match.com to see mm -hmm. you know, how how effective they were at predicting the success of a relationship. And then there was this other research that said, I'm going to look primarily at the ability for a couple to resolve conflict, to have conflict and resolve conflict. And their predictions of successful relationships were much, much higher than any of these matching algorithms. And that's one of the key things is, how can you expect to put people together and expect them to truly become high performing? They need to have high expectations of one another. They need to be able to you know, call each other up, but you need to be able to do that in a constructive way. So that's that, that's an interesting metric. That so it's not just what attracts you together; it's your ability to stay together. Exactly, exactly. That, that is the indicator for success. There, yeah, that's great, Paul. Um, I know you're not at uh, News UK any at no. this point. Was it so successful that they didn't? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, obviously. Give us an idea. How successful was it? So if you looked uh, at kind of like leading KPIs and lagging KPIs, so what do things do you want to be able to see? And, and ideally measure, but what things do you want to be able to see that gives you a chance of actually delivering and delivering well? And then the proof of the puddings and the eating, how are we actually delivering afterwards? So there was definitely much higher levels of empowerment and autonomy. There were definitely the right people, because I helped, sort of helped to reorganize it, there were the right people coming together to do the right things. And there was, uh, there was real ownership behavior. People were definitely challenging the status quo. People and teams were pushing decisions away. That's part of the solution. Give me the problem. We'll solve it. We're the experts. That was happening. And then you know, at the end as well, the, the clear measurable things were, um, on average, all teams were delivering four times more frequently. Now, four times. Four times. Now, that, that's kind of a bit, um, it doesn't sound as good as, as it could be because a couple of the teams were already, you know, releasing fairly frequently but then you had other teams that were releasing once every several months mm -hmm. so the ones that were releasing fairly frequently that are able to release several times a day but we were choosing not to and the ones that weren't able to were able to so we got to a point where 
many of the teams from feature complete to go live could be 45 minutes. That is, that's fantastic. Mm. And, and a 400% improvement is nothing to sneeze at. There are a lot of companies True. that would do that, teams that would want that. Just real quickly, Scott, what, what drove you to, to present here at the Enterprise Summit? <laughs> that's an interesting question. I, uh, I originally got asked and politely said no. <laughs> okay. And then after a few days... It made you an offer you couldn't refuse? I no, mean, what it's, was it? It's, um, I, don't, I don't have a desire to get up on a stage and talk, to be honest. But uh, I felt I needed to actually step up and, and share my experience. I wasn't necessarily sure whether my experience and my story was, was right, if, if I'm honest. And then mm -hmm. after talking through some ideas with Gene about what I could potentially consider... You know, Gene Kim himself was fantastic. Are you sure? I was just talking over there. I gave him four opportunities to say thanks but no thanks because I wasn't sure it was necessarily the right topic. And now being here and hearing others talk, it's clearly an emerging yeah. theme that everyone's becoming much and more you're in, aware And you're of. in good company. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and also being the first time in London, I, I really wanted to do my bit to help this be successful for the community. So, um, yeah, it's not something that I particularly enjoy doing. It's something that I felt I really should do to help, so help our community. Well, yes. Good for you. Yeah. You're empowering them. <laughs> Paul, uh, Scott, excuse me. We're going to uh, let you go because I know you have to get up on stage. Yes, sure. Okay. Scott Potter, thank you so much for joining us today. Lovely. Thank you. Knock them dead. Break a leg out there. Thank you. And uh, this is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com. Thank, thank you. you.